Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Judge Spector here. Now, if you recall, in my SmackDown series review, I wasn't too kind to it for the reason of the developers just pussyfooting around and not wanting to make any serious steps forward. Now, at the, at the urging, rather, of the person who requested the initial review, the Icon 901, a colleague of mine, I decided to try a new wrestling game not made by Ukes or WWE. The game I'm talking about is TNA Impact, the first video game to be released by the company. Now first, I want to start with a comparison. There's a professional wrestler, and I use that term loosely, named Scott Steiner, who is a part of the TNA roster and is in the game. I want to start off with a comparison with him. What does Scott Steiner and TNA Impact, the game that he's in, have in common? Two things, really, that I could think of. First, neither one of them have very many real wrestling moves, and secondly, in terms of wrestling or just entertainment in general, they're both completely worthless. Honestly, this is one of the worst wrestling games I've played within recent years, and that's including the SmackDown games. So you might ask yourself, what is wrong with this game? Well, just about everything that you can imagine. First off, as I said before, I think Midway boasted that they were going to have over 2,000 moves in the game, but they had to come clean and confess that later on that they weren't even able to get half that many. Seriously, the move sets are incredibly limited. And the creator wrestler system is one of the most bland and generic I've seen on a next generation console. And I'm not even sure I like the term next generation since I look at it like we're already on the generation of consoles, so it's current generation. But still, most people refer to the Xbox as next gen, so that's what I meant. There are very few customization options, and if you can't have a good creative wrestler, or at least a adequate one, you're not going to be able to do very well because most people don't even like using the regular wrestlers. They like inventing their own. And in this game, two people could create almost the exact same wrestler not even trying to. There's very few options when compared to any other wrestling game within the last few years. This really feels like something that should have been released back in like 1998 or something. It's pretty bad. And another thing that's irritating is when you're choosing your entrance and moves, there's no way to preview what they look like before you really pick them. I mean, what's up with that? I mean, even SmackDown 2 on the PlayStation 1 had it where you could preview your moves. When did the idea of, of convenience become not, not essential anymore? That's very annoying. Another thing that's really limited in the game is the game modes itself. Now TNA is known for having some of the wildest match types this side of Japan, but there's very little in this game. Only the Ultimate X really makes an appearance. And if I could play the exact same game modes in any other game, why would I really want to play this one? especially with a limited roster of only like 20 plus wrestlers compared to like 60 or how 40 or however many it is with SmackDown. Another problem is the lack of any con consistent online play. There is online play of course, but there's only two play people supported which pretty much eliminates any way of doing tag team matches or fatal four ways or anything of that nature, which is pretty unforgivable. But the biggest problem I had was with the core gameplay itself. It just doesn't really feel right to me. I mean, when I play SmackDown or Day of Reckoning or even Fire Pro Wrestling, there is a bit of disorientation when playing one and then another because you're used to using buttons in one game, not the other. But after playing it for like 10 minutes, you sort of like, you know, you get, re you readjust yourself to it. It's no problem, really. But in TNA, I never really felt like I was at ease with the controls. It just nothing felt like it did what it should do. And overall, the gameplay just doesn't really feel like it's balanced very well. I mean, it seems like you get beat just by having somebody do more reversals on you than you do on them without actually hitting you with any serious moves. Strangely enough, you kick out of pins by rotating the analog stick rather than pressing buttons, which is a bit strange. And that I rotate the stick as fast as I can, but I see, never really seem to be able to kick out very often. The gameplay just isn't fun. I mean, I was hoping for a competent wrestling game when I played TNA. Maybe not something fantastic, but at least a decent one to build on for future installments. But 
the foundation that they laid down for this one is so is just about as weak as a straw hut after an earthquake. I mean, if they're going to make another one, they're going to need to start over again because there was nothing in this game that was appealing at all. I mean, honestly, I bought it for $17, and I feel like I was ripped off. If you like wrestling games, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but play SmackDown. It will be more fun than this. And now, if you'll excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I need to go wash my mouth out with soap. This is Judd Spector, signing off.